Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Where the grub's from? As long as the bowl's full. Not my fault we ended six feet under the birches. Thanks. Why do you have to play the hero? You saved my sorry ass. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it has helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well? What are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. 
My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witchers there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Die dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, silly. Don't you embarrass us. Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like him. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. 
But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. So long. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll? Uh huh. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex send you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive. And well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19, and there you have my life. Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line, and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seed. What will you do now? Find my mum. 
You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a Witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Listening, what do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. Well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific. But I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. Should send him back to the witch. Might cure him of laziness. Greetings, ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Need something? Got a matter for your village witch. Know where I can find her? I don't bother with her myself. But ask my man. He'll know. Twerked his back so bad last week he could hardly move. So I sent him to the witch. Came back sprightly as a foal. Where is he? In the yard, no doubt. Pain's gone, but sleuth's set in now. Should be hunting foxberries to feed our young ones. Marion's lad. Now that man, he knows how to provide for his family. Got some water rats last. They had food for days. 
Good day. Heard you know where to find the local witch. Who told you that? Your wife. Daft wench. Leave me be, and don't listen to that nattering sow. We've not had a witch, shaman, nor cunning wench in ages. Would a few crowns refresh your memory? Oh, well, if that's how you put it. Know the small pond near the village? Path leads off from it. Follow that till you come across a lone rock. Walk around that, then to the woods. Find the old cart. You're there. Thanks. It's just... Don't harm her, sir. Word of your kind's reached these parts. My kind, meaning? Well, the witch-burning kind. Witch hunters have been here already? Nay, but we've heard tell of them. So, when I spied you coming, swords and all, straight away, I thought tales must be true. I'm a witcher, not a witch hunter. Hmm? What? Not one and the same? No. No need to worry. I'm not out to hurt your witch. Ooh, a weight off me heart, sir. She only arrived a short while ago, but she's frightfully wise. Even pleasant on the eyes. I feel like I'm skinny. Thanks for your help. Farewell. somewhere nearby. Miss! Cows are wheezing. Won't rise from the barn floor. Pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn. Thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in the back. We'd best come back on. Anyone home? Ordinary ointment. Nothing special. she run off to? Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. A pentagram in chalk. Don't often see baubles like this in Velen. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... So this is where she disappeared to. 